police commissioner. I guess congratulations are in order. Yeah, I'm not taking the job. You turned her down? Well, yes, of course. Mac is my ex-brother-in-law. I can't do that to him. He raised Robin when I wasn't here. I owe him so much. Besides, you know, I, uh, I think he's a good commissioner. And if the mayor, if she had her wits about her, she would hire him back and give him a bump in salary. That's what I think. In a sluggish economy, is that likely to happen? No. Are you sure you won't reconsider? I know I have my selfish reasons, but you're good at what you do, and I mean, I could use an in with the police department. Right. Yes. Well, Temp is fugit, and your time is running out with your investigation. Yeah, well, on the flip side of that, the time is running out for Sonny Corinthos to pay for what he did. Oh, yeah? That sounds very confident. Determined. You got something in the works, do you? I understand that your grief is fresh. What's left of mine just wants justice. Time is against you, though, my man. Not if I get an extension on that investigative allowance. Are you sure that you want to spend all that time away from Natalie and your boy? No, I do not. But she understands why I'm here and why I need to be here until it's done. I, I don't know that it's going to be possible. I'm sorry. I, I, I talked to my contact over at the Bureau and, you know, he's just... He said no. He, he's, he's not willing to make this extension. Did you try plowing them with booze? That's what I do. Why don't you let me talk to them? No, I did everything, really. I made your argument. But you're not an agent anymore. And this isn't an active case. So he has no reason to extend an allowance. You might, you might have to let this one go. Hey, let's only get away with murdering my sister. No way. You haven't told me ever anything much about your sister except how she died. I mean, I don't know how you felt about her, why you two were estranged. Uh, Teresa. Teresa was my half-sister. Mm -hmm. No one else in my family knew about her. My old man made me promise not to tell anyone. Why? The old man was a cop. He was shot in the line of duty. They got him to the hospital, but they were... They weren't able to save him. You never talked about this before. Yeah, we were calling in the middle of the night, and they, um, they asked us to come on down to the hospital. You know, I was just, um, I was just a kid, but I knew he was dying. I think we both did. He said he wanted to talk to me alone, and he told me that, um, that I was the man of the house now, and I had to take care of my mom, and I had to take care of my little brother, Mike. And then he told me something. Something he was very sorry for and that I could never tell anyone about. Well, no disrespect, but that's a hell of a burden to put on a kid. I was the oldest. I guess in those last moments he had to tell someone. He had had an affair. Mm -hmm. He had a daughter. Teresa. The mother, he, he never mentioned her name. She had disappeared. She took Teresa with her. He made me promise to find my sister. Look out for her. And make sure if she needed anything, I was there. And then he made me promise never to tell my mom. And never to tell my brother Mike. That's pretty selfish. He didn't want to hurt them. What about you? I mean, he must have realized that would be so difficult for you to keep a secret like that from your mother and your brother? I think it's a terrible burden to put on a kid. I really do. Terrible. To, to make you responsible for a sister that you never even met. Yeah, I know. What are you gonna do? He was my dad. I promised him I would find my sister. But I was just a kid, you know? I, I didn't have much to go on and I had no resources. It wasn't until... I started out at the Bureau that I was able to track her down. She had been through foster care. She had, had a pretty rough life. When I finally caught up with her, she was working in this... this terrible club in Atlantic City. What was she like? Pretty. Yeah? A little rough around the edges. Very pretty. 
you know. And she was... She was really moved that I had taken... You know, all this time to find her. She wasn't so forgiving of my father. And I guess I couldn't blame her for that. But, you know, I thought we were going to have this time together and... You know, time to explain to her that he was a good man that made some mistakes. But she was in over her head, and before I could help her, she was dead. This vendetta against Sonny, is it because you feel you broke a promise to your father? Sonny Corinthos is a career criminal who also happens to be responsible for my sister's murder. And I will see justice served. Well, this bitterness you feel towards Sonny, it's only going to interfere with your objectivity. You're right. And it's difficult sometimes being objective. Yeah. And if someone had deliberately set that explosion that took Robin, you might be a little bitter too. I am bitter. And it was an accident. But it doesn't drive me every second of every day. I'm not judging you, John. Really, I'm not. I'm just trying to save you from this. For what passes as my life these days. A constant daily managing of, of everything I regret. Because I should have been here. You see? With Robin. These past few years, instead of off out there searching the globe for criminals. For what? So that they can hire fancy attorneys and, and make a deal. And if they do go to prison, what difference does it make? Nothing. And I missed all that time with her. You're wrong about not making a difference. Is this why you didn't take the commissioner's job? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I haven't given up on law enforcement or anything. You know, I still believe in fighting the good fight. But I do think that family is important. You're not subtle. You know that, right? No, I'm not trying to be subtle. I'm trying to get through to you. Good luck. Do you really want to take all this time away from Natalie and your boy? Don't you want to watch Liam grow up? I deal with that every day. That is my burden. And you know what? If you're so worried about me, why don't you take that commissioner's job and keep me in line? Oh, that's not my responsibility. You keep yourself in line. A job's not going to help me. It doesn't change anything. And that's a really ugly truth. See, I can't go back. I made my choice. And I have to live with that. And you're gonna have to live with yours. All I'm saying is you need to think about it. McBain! What can I do for you? You've done enough already. 